G'day, I'm Sog. Welcome to the A League Couch Critics. Today I'm going to tell you the five main stories you need to keep an eye out for this A League men's season. Let's go. At number one, it's the big and obvious one Diego Costa, Juan Mata, facing off against each other in the Sydney Derby round one. It's going to be at the Unite round as well. It's going to be fantastic. These are huge names. The biggest names we've probably had in the A League since Del Piero and Heskey. And so, and Ono, of course. And, and this is just going to light the league on fire. If both of them can stay fit, and if both of them produce the football we know they're capable of, absolute incredible for the A-League. And so you really need to be watching that first Sydney Derby. If you can't get there, chuck it on TV. It's going to be an electric atmosphere in the stadium, and it's going to absolutely be great watching on TV. The big thing is, who's going to be better? Is going to be Costa on that left or right hand side whipping in crosses for Klimala, adding some flair as he takes on defenders and unleashes that left foot? Or is it going to be one matter playing in that number 10 role behind the striker for the Wanderers? Deft touch, little passes in behind. He's going to be setting things up and they've got strikers who can finish off those goals now that they have Krajev, Milanovic, Borello. This could be an absolutely lethal attack and a, and a great tactic for the Wanderers to play this season. Alright, and on to number two, the second biggest story you need to keep your eye out for this A-League season is Patrick Kisnorbo over to Melbourne victory against his old club, Melbourne City. It's going to set the Melbourne derby alight. That's right, the rivalries in the A-League is where things get really, really spicy. And Kisnorbo crossing town after failing over in France He's got something to prove, but what a kick in the teeth if he does it with the Melbourne victory. This could be a big season. They made it to the Australia Cup final. They're in the final of the A-League Championship last season. They're looking good, and with Patrick Kisnorbo, who we know wins games in the A-League, this could be awesome. Absolutely, Melbourne City will be wanting to do everything they can to make sure he isn't successful on the other side of town. Reason number three, and guess what? It's another derby because Auckland FC are in the competition. It's their very first season. Now we have two teams from New Zealand, and that means we get a New Zealand derby. Of course, Wellington will want to prove that they've been here longer and they're still the big brother team, but Auckland are the new fellas, and they have something to prove. They want to become New Zealand's premier team, and now they've got the chance to prove it. Of course, adding fuel to this fire is a crosstown swap. Alex Paulson, probably the league's best goalkeeper last season, has been bought by the Cherries, Bournemouth AFC, over in England, and then loaned back to Auckland. Of course, they had to change the league's rules that were set up back in the Caceres days when he was bought by Man City and then loaned out to Melbourne City. They put rules in place to stop this kind of thing, but Auckland have petitioned to have the rule changed just so they could get Alex Paulson. It's added a little bit of spice to this derby right from the off. And it's going to be fantastic to watch Auckland, a new team, settle into the league. They look really well set up, and they've got Steve Corica, a former Premiership winner. And so he'll be looking to prove, after being ditched by Sydney, that he's still got it. Storyline number four to keep an eye on this A-League season is the Central Coast Mariners. Back-to-back -back champions over the last two seasons. Last season, they did a treble. That's right, a treble, not the treble. They won the A-League Premiership, the A-League Championship, and they won the AFC Cup, which is the Europa League of Asia. They've been on such a high, they've got such a good side, and they've defied all the odds. The little team that could and keeps doing so, but there is absolute drama bubbling under the surface. Things are coming out about the club, it looks like the license could be handed back by the owner at the end of this season. Even after all the success, Charlesworth doesn't want to keep this club, and so they could be in absolute dire straits at the end of this season because we all know that running a club in the A-League, it's not a profitable business necessarily. And so the Central Coast Mariners could be looking for an owner. They could be on the way out after back-to-back -back championships. What's that going to do to the team this year? Will they continue to succeed? To show that they are worth being in this competition? I mean, I absolutely think so, but what do you think? And reason number five, 
The story to keep your eye out for this A-League season is, of course, the same as every season, the young players making their debut, breaking into the first teams and shocking the world. We've had Nestoria and Kunda do it last season, being bought by Bayern Munich, and we know they've got incredible talent in the A-League, in the juniors, who are just waiting for their chance. Players like Casey Boss, Tattoo down in Adelaide, Faisal out in Perth, and Thiago Quintal at Sydney FC. These are just a couple of the names of incredible young players that you need to keep your eye out for this season because these guys are going big and we could see the next A-League superstar come right out of this season. That's five storylines that you need to keep your eye out for this A-League season. Of course, you can keep watching all of the drama unfold on Paramount Plus and you can see two games Saturday live on Free to Air TV on Channel 10 and you can keep up with all of the latest news in the A-League with the A-League Couch Critics. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you can keep chatting with us all throughout the season about the A-League and the fantastic stories that are unfolded.